Good morning, class of 2020 and distinguished guests. I'm Lilia Villa, secretary of the class of 2020. I'm Julia Pelizarro, the treasurer of class of 2020. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing. Dina Jamelis will now sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangle banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the And now, a few words from the superintendent, Dr. Josh Vidala. Thank you, Dina, Lilia, and Julia. Good morning, and welcome to the 2020 Peabody Veterans Memorial High School graduation ceremony. A few months ago, we didn't think that this was possible. And today we have over 300 graduates and their families on our football field, ready and willing and able to accept their diplomas as graduates of Peabody High School. Thank you. I wanna thank our city officials, including Mayor Betancourt, the city council, and our school committee members for really pushing to make sure that we had one graduation ceremony for our graduates. A few years ago, or, I'm sorry, a few months ago, we weren't sure if we were able to do this. And the students and their families really wanted to come together one more time as a community, as a graduating class, and be together. We're here today to let you know that your voices have been heard, that we value you, and we're here to support you. Thank you. This day wouldn't be possible without the tremendous work behind the scenes from our public health department, especially Sharon Cameron, our graduation committee, with all the teachers and students that were parts of that, our senior class advisors, Kristen Mercier and Emily Clark, Dr. Lord and Ms. McGovern for their excellent work, and at the last minute coming in, new principal, Mr. Magno, and assistant principal, Mr. Haas. Thank you for all your work to put today together. For all of you who joined our, commence, our convocation last night, it was an excellent ceremony, and we really appreciate all the work that went in. <laughs> Did 
There was one omission last night, and we apologize for that. We wanted to recognize the Buckley Scholarship was omitted from our program last night. We have four excellent recipients, and I just wanted to honor Cassidy Butt, Austin Higginbotham, Kelly Mellon, and Caitlin Rice on behalf of Erin and Eric Buckley for the Jenna Buckley Memorial Scholarship. Thank you. At this time, I'd like you all to join me in a brief moment of silence for our former superintendent, Kara Murtag, and our assistant principal, Judy Maniatis. Thank you. I'm pleased to announce that we have the Murtag family here today. They're an integral part of today and an integral part of our community and I'm so blessed to welcome them today. Thank you for being here. We got a beautiful day today, and I know that Kara's looking down on us, and she's smiling, and she's proud of each and every one of you. My message to the 2020 graduates, keep her in your heart, and you will be successful in all that you do. And now, it is my distinguished pleasure to welcome the greatest mayor in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Mayor Ted Betancourt. Well, good morning, class of 2020. I am honored to be here today to celebrate this momentous occasion in your lives. And I'm so happy that we are all together to have this moment. On behalf of your families, friends, teachers, administrators, and all those in our community that have supported you along your journey, congratulations. For four years, we have watched you excel in the classroom, in our labs, on athletic fields, and performing arts stages, at school and special events, and through your many hours of community service. We are deeply impressed not only by your talent and intellect, but by the way in which you have conducted yourselves these past four years. Each of you have represented Peabody High School with honor, integrity, and distinction. You have set a wonderful example for the next graduating class to follow, and for that, you should be most proud. I ask each graduate to take a moment and think about where you want to go in your life, your goals, your hopes, your dreams. I could speak for hours citing great accomplishment by Peabody High School graduates. Medal of Honor winners, Rhodes Scholars, doctors, business leaders, professional athletes and performers, and every single person of the thousands I could mention started their journey sitting right where you are now, a young man or woman with big dreams. Follow those dreams, seek out that future that is in your heart, and know you can make it happen. Graduates, during your years at Peabody Veterans Memorial High School, you have worked very hard and made your family and friends proud. Although your senior year was marked by grief and great loss, and then by the uncertainty and disappointment brought on by COVID-19, you stayed focused on your goals and accomplished something truly special. By facing adversity head on, you and your classmates are stronger and better prepared for what lies ahead. We are all rooting for you to make a positive difference in our world. Once again, congratulations and best wishes for success, good health, and happiness. Thank you. And now I wanted to invite our Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Chris Lord, to say a few words. And I want to thank Dr. Lord for his leadership and compassion over these last few months leading this high school. Thank you, Dr. Lord, and please come forward. Thanks, Mayor Beckencourt. I also want to thank all of you for an incredible year of, you know, memories and challenges and happiness. Um, I have a very short speech today. Um, the shortest speech that was ever delivered to a group like this was delivered by Sir Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill was the Prime Minister of England during World War II, and he lived through a very challenging time with his people as well, where they were raining bombs on London and 
V-2 rockets and in planning for the invasion of Normandy, 50 million people died during World War II, and it was a really challenging time. And he stood before a group of young people, not unlike you, after the war to make a speech, and he said this, never, 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 never give up. That's all he had to say. It conveyed an incredible meaning to that people because that's exactly how you fight fascism and that's exactly how our communities and our world, I believe, is gonna face the pandemic ahead of us. My speech for you is down to six words and I think the mayor has already illustrated a lot of it. And here's my speech for you. PBD High rocks! Bulls up, Tanners! hoo -ah! Now I'd like to introduce our student speakers, co-presidents John Edward Boyce, Colleen Crotty, valedictorian Rebecca Trong, salutatorian Alexandra Turco, and essayist Diana Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, come on up to the podium. Here's your moment. Real last, all right. Good morning, honorable mayor, dignitaries, faculty, graduating seniors, family and friends. Welcome to the Peabody High Class of 2020 graduation. My name is John Edward Moyes, co-president of the Class of 2020, and it is an honor to be able to speak before you today. I would like to start with a moment of silence for three of many victims of racism and police brutality. Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. Let us take a moment of silence for them and all others who do not have the privilege to go on jogs or expect proper treatment by authorities. Congratulations, class of 2020. It may have taken a few extra months, but we made it. We're graduating. After four long years of spark noting literary classics, getting lost in the stairway to nowhere, studying and practicing, our high school career has come to an end. Wherever we go from here, I know that the possibilities are endless for us. It was a truly a pleasure to know all of you. On behalf of the other students standing with me today, I would like to thank all the parents, coaches, and teachers who have impacted us and supported us and other students including the administration for organizing all of this. Thank you for the time and dedication that you put into our growth and education and your commitment to improve the school culturally and academically. We can all attest to the fact that we would not be here without you. For my accomplishments, they were made possible by the sacrifices and advice of my family, including the birthday girl, my mother. Happy birthday, mommy. I would also like to... <laughs> I would also like to thank our class advisors, Mrs. Mercier and Ms. Clark, and all our other class officers, past and present. A special thanks goes to my fellow classmates who have dedicated their time and energies on helping committees. We may, not, we may not have had prom, but we have a lot of money for donations and future class reunions. Many of us were eager to celebrate the end of high school when the pandemic began. As time passed, our chances of doing the traditional activities grew slimmer and slimmer. I'm sure we can all relate to feelings of frustration over this and other world-changing events. Other classes have the privilege of doing normal graduations, having proms, saying goodbye to teachers in person, and other normalities we may have taken for granted. It just had to be us, right? Aside from Corona, Peabody High has had it rough this year. In the beginning of our junior year, Ms. Bertram passed away. The following summer, 
Ms. Brian Quino passed. This year, Superintendent Murtag and Vice Principal Mrs. Maniatis passed away. These deaths and others rocked our community and our condolences go out to all of our, their family and colleagues. But if there's anything I have learned in these disappointments, it is two things. Learning to appreciate the time I am given and taking advantage of opportunities when I see them. This may sound cliche, but hear me out. Tomorrow is never promised, and it is my hope that we never pass over the small things in life, but rather seize the greatest of life's moments. If you want proof, just look at life. Just look at our past pro class projects. Just look at the nation's response to COVID, suicide cases, and racial disparities in, across all avenues of life. We're only given one life, so let's live it right. Therefore, take time to be with your family. Take time to admit that you might be wrong sometimes. Take time to plan. Take time to text that cute guy or girl that you met. Take time to rest. Take time to check in on your friends. Take time to learn new things. Take time to question your beliefs. Take time to question who you serve. Take time to call out injustice when you see it. Take time to understand the struggles of others. Because it is the things that we push off that haunt us the most. Class of 2020, I charge you to use your time wisely, even if it makes you uncomfortable. As we move on to the next phase of our lives, let us cling to the lessons that we have learned in the past four years to make a better future for ourselves and the people around us. Next up is my fellow co-president, Colleen Crotty. Hello, I'm Colleen Crotty, co-president of the class of 2020. I'd be negligent if I didn't mention that this, the fact that this is not the traditional graduation that we have imagined the past 13 years together in public schooling. We should be celebrating this time together, side by side, hugging in celebration, though I'm a strong supporter of the phrase, everything happens for a reason. As we graduate through the COVID-19 pandemic, our strength and ambition within the class of 2020 really shines through. Most would crumble in this type of adversity, but we have used it to build upon one another. I would like to share something that this pandemic has taught me and is not to take anything for granted. I'm so thankful for all the memories PBD High has given me over the past four years. Time here really does end in a blink of an eye. I'd give anything to have ended the year with my final lacrosse season, prom, senior banquet, and said a proper goodbye to all my teachers and friends. So to the younger classes here, please treasure your time here. Well, I'm very thankful for all the memories. You can't put your arm around a memory. Ms. Murtag and Ms. Maniatis should be on stage with us today. We all have a story or a memory about them. And while those are comforting, we should be able to hug them as they hand us our diplomas. So please let the people in your life know how much you love and appreciate them. And quickly, aside from my speech, as a class gift to the Peabody community, the class of 2020 will be making a donation to the Peabody Education Foundation in memory of Kara Murtag and Judy Mandiatis. <laughs> Behind each graduate here today, there is a story, unique to all, but the setting is the same. A large brown building, hallways lined with orange, red, and blue lockers, and classrooms that range 90 degrees to 30. This graduation does not mark the end of your story, but rather a new beginning with a new setting. Whether you're entering college, a trade school, the workforce, or just staying home to figure out life, know that you can accomplish anything. To my fellow classmates and teammates that have been by my side supporting me, I would like to say thank you and supporting me as both a president and a captain. As corny as this might sound, without the people that have been by my side, I wouldn't be the person I am standing before you today. If it wasn't for my friends supporting me in Spanish class to run for president, I wouldn't be giving this speech. If it wasn't for my family and friends supporting me in my athletic career, I don't know where I would be. Sports are considered just a game to some, but to others they build friendship and create memories that will life last a lifetime. They teach you that not everything comes easy. You have to train every day, you get hurt, you push yourself past breaking points, you get knocked down, but you have to get up because your team is counting on you. Not only do you get thick skin, but you develop a strong mind playing sports, and I will forever be thankful for the PBD High's athletic department, all the friendship, memories, and even all the stress that it brought. To all my classmates who sit before me today, I look back at our accomplishments and I beam with pride. 
While we are taught to be humble, I can't help but admit that I've been guilty of bragging of all that we have done. Together, we have spent countless hours studying, practicing late night on the field and on the court, rehearsing lines, and please know that it was worth it all. Our success is unmatched. We broke records, succeeded in many deck competitions, put on astonishing performances on the stage, battled mental illnesses, and did phenomenal on our tests, especially when it was pass or fail. It's hard not to look back and reminisce and think about how much we have all grown. There's so much character in the class of 2020. I'm proud to say that I'm part of a class that has members going off to defend our country, attempt to find a cure for cancer, run for office to make valuable changes, and teach younger generations and all whom will forever make the Tanner Nation proud. Now I'd like to introduce the class essayist, Diana Lee. Hello, everyone. Although the class president has already given thanks to the teachers of PVD High, I just wanted to add props to you guys for dealing with our dumb shenanigans and sleep deprived selves all year long. And of course, for the incredible amount of effort that you guys put into teaching all of your students each and every day. I would also like to personally thank everyone who has made a substantial difference in the lives of myself and my fellow graduates. We would not be the people that we are today without you. As a special message to my mom, who had to live through the Vietnam War, immigrate to America by herself, and raise me all on her own, I just want to say that I'm sorry we haven't always seen eye to eye. Please know that I am beyond grateful for everything that you've done for me, for every sacrifice you've made without hesitation, just for us to have a chance at a better life. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. And since you always scold me for not speaking enough Vietnamese, I guess instead I should say, Gamung Mat. Last but not least, to the PV High's graduating class of 2020, congratulations. Although you're probably tired of hearing that 15 letter C word by now, every one of you deserves to feel very proud of yourselves right here in this moment, especially after having to deal with all of the challenge that this year has relentlessly thrown at us from mourning the loss of two amazing people who did so much for our community, Ms. Murtag and Mrs. Mayedis, to living through the uncertainty of a global pandemic, all while our fellow civ civilians are in the midst of fighting against racial injustice and police brutality. On top of all these difficulties, we were still expected to be model students, prepare, prepare for our AP tests, focus at work, deal with our own personal hardships and countless other responsibilities. And in spite of all of that, we persevered. Although I wish I could say that things will get easier from here on out, I'm afraid I'll be lying to you. Life will always be throwing gross sour lemons at us and somehow we have to find a way to continue making lemonade. And as discouraging as that may sound and as bleak as things may get, don't ever lose hope. Just know that we will grow from every tribulation that we're going to face, but only if we're open to such a challenge. And even though we have all grown up so much already, from annoying freshmen to slightly less annoying seniors, we still have a long way to go. And that realization will come very quickly as we enter the terrifying, yet wondrous world of adulthood. It will be scary, yes, but also exciting. There's always so much for us to experience, learn, and know, regardless of where we are in life. In fact, my mom would argue that I still know little to nothing at all. And I suppose she has a point. <laughs> if you were to ask me how to graph a cosine function or what the Pythagorean identities are, I wouldn't really know what to tell you. Sorry, Mr. Picanzo. <laughs> to be fair, math was never my best subject. English, on the other hand, definitely was, which would explain why I oddly remember a particular short story that I read in Mr. Jones' class all the way back in sophomore year. It was called Repent Holoquin, said the TikTok man, by Harlan Ellison. Now, you might be asking yourself, is this girl really about to give a lecture on a short story that she read in sophomore year on graduation day? And the answer is yes, but I promise there is a point to it all, so please try to not fall asleep, though it's totally fair if you do. You see, in the story, the main character goes against unjust rules established by the world that he lives in. He was known as the Holoquin. And while he went around pulling off stunts of defiance, committing acts of civil disobedience, Everyone else around him remained compliant. 
The others who continued to blindly follow the rules without question were seen as good citizens. The Hallquin, however, was seen as a criminal and destroyed for his actions. He was looked down on, even though he was the one who fought for the change that everyone in his world needed. And for that, he wasn't a criminal at all. He was a hero. So like the Holoquin, we must remember to stand up for ourselves and for, what, and for what we think is right, even if we must stand alone. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Choose to see a better future, one where we take all the skills that we have learned here over our last four years to create a world that we can be proud of. So my speech was only supposed to be three to four minutes long, and since I am now overstaying my welcome, I have one last story to tell you. Growing up, I was always obsessing over impressing and gaining the approval of everyone around me. All I wanted was to be seen, to be known for the person that I am, and acknowledged for all that I have managed to accomplish. And I suppose that's, that's something that we all secretly want for ourselves deep down. When I found out that I was an essayist and would be giving a speech for graduation, my first thoughts were, how did that happen? And oh no, I am literally terrified of speaking to more than 10 people at once, much less hundreds. And then I realized this is it. My chance to finally be seen, to finally be heard. And not to say that it has not been an honor for me to speak to you all today. I just wish that I had realized sooner the only person who I needed to see me was myself. So, as my final message to you, class of 2020, please understand that all the awards and praise in the world won't matter until you learn to already be happy with yourselves without any of it. Constantly chasing after the approval of others will often lead you to nowhere meaningful. So, learn self-acceptance, and no matter who may doubt you or, no, or refuse to acknowledge you, continue to be the person that you want to be. And with all that being said, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Now, I would like to hand this off to the class salutatorian, Alexandra Torco. Welcome everyone to this long awaited graduation ceremony, better late than never. We have all worked incredibly hard throughout the past four years, but not without some obstacles. Starting with the elephant in the room, our senior year was cut short due to the outbreak of coronavirus, COVID-19. I believe I can speak on behalf of many of my classmates when we say that March 12th was a very exciting day at first. This was when we received the phone call that we had no school the following day. We really had no idea what we were in for. As the time away from school went on, eventually leading to the cancellation of the remainder of our final year of high school, we all learned a valuable lesson. Take nothing for granted. I can assure everyone in attendance today that we all struggled to keep our eyes open in first period at 7.20 a.m. each day, but looking back, I wouldn't trade it for the world. The class of 2020 is a class that will most definitely, definitely go down in history. Whether it was Peabody High's first attempt at online learning, finally earning the ability to change our Chromebook backgrounds, learning countless TikTok dances, or our completely not rigged landslide senior victory at the pep rally, We've accomplished quite a bit. I would like to take this opportunity to share some of the most significant things I've learned throughout each of my experiences in that stunning brown building over the last four years. First and foremost, cherish each and every moment as well as those around you. This year, we lost two of the most prominent figures in the Peabody Public School System, Ms. Murtag and Ms. Maniatis. Both of these women played major roles in my life as well as the lives of countless other students. Their passing seemed to put the world at a standstill for many of us. For the many people who had the pleasure of knowing these women, it was one of the most difficult experiences we ever had to go through. The way the Peabody community came together to honor Ms. Murtag and Ms. Maniatis touched many hearts, including my own. I know they are both looking down on this graduating class beaming with pride. The next major thing that has stuck with me over the past four years is that a little bit of kindness can go a long way. Now, I apologize for the cliche, but it really is the truth. Check on your friends and family. You never know if they're looking for your help, but are just too afraid to ask. A simple smile in the halls made my school day the slightest bit better. So above all else, just be kind. Next, always stand up for what you believe in and always be willing to hear others. Another cliche, I know, but again, it's very important. 
I was never the most outspoken person, but I found my voice throughout my time at Peabody High School. I once received an email from a teacher, and in it they said to me, speak up more and be heard. You have good ideas and are a person with convictions. Be a leader. You have the talent and work ethic to thrive in whatever you choose to do. I'm sharing this quote with you because I believe it applies to every member of the class of 2020. If you have not yet found your voice, your time will come and you will be heard. Though the list could go on forever, the final few lessons I have learned throughout my time in high school are as follows. Ask for help when you need it. Be there for others. Talk to your teachers after school. Go to that football game. Choose the bathroom you're going to wisely. Always bring a change of shoes to a DECA competition. And as my favorite celebrity, John Cena, always says, rise above hate and never give up. I would not be standing here in front of you today if it weren't for those who supported me along the way. I would like to quickly thank my entire family, more specifically my parents, John and Kim, as well as my little sister, Isabella, for keeping me on my toes. And dad, I've heard you say the words, don't take your foot off the gas pedal more times than I can even recall, but I finally made it to the end of the racetrack. I would also like to thank my best friends, Olivia O'Connor, Jessica Basilar, and Elizabeth Newton. Thank you for always being there whenever I needed you. Every adult to ever walk the halls of Peabody High School has had a major impact on both the students' academics and their life. And for that, we would all like to thank you. I would specifically like to thank Mr. Pedersen and Mr. Grondon. They truly represent the reasons that teachers do what they do to help their students reach success in all aspects. Thank you both for all you have done and for letting me talk to you about football after school. On behalf of the class of 2020, whether you're a parent, teacher, friend, or anyone else who helped us reach this special day, thank you all for your continued support. Class of 2020, I would like to leave you with this. It has been an honor to speak before you all today. Many of us are off to college, some are heading into the workforce, and others are off to serve our nation in the military. Regardless of what our futures hold, our paths will now begin to diverge. Some may cross again, and others may not. However, I wish each and every one of you the greatest success. You all have made my high school experience memorable in one way or another, and for that, I sincerely thank you. Continue to work hard because we are all more capable than we can ever know. Congratulations to the resilient class of 2020 and good luck in all future endeavors. Thank you. I would now like to introduce our valedictorian, Rebecca Trong. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, as my peers have said, we are all extremely thankful for the entire Peabody community for making this possible and for supporting us this far along our journey. But my message today goes specifically to my peers and my classmates of the class of 2020. Peabody High has given me so many friends and memories, both good and bad. So I'd like to share a story from my time here. It was a winter morning, and like most teenagers, I was tired, irritable, and very reluctant to be at school. That morning, I also realized that I needed a book, which was in my locker, which was on the third floor. Needless to say, I was not very happy. As I began my ascent, I noticed something was a little bit odd, a little bit different. There were no lights in the staircase. Um, there wasn't much point in turning around, so I turned on my phone's flashlight and continued on my way. Now, as you might know, climbing up three flights of stairs in Peabody High is a little bit of a journey and a little bit tiring. Climbing up three flights of stairs in the dark is even more so. But eventually, I did make my way to the third floor where I was greeted by the cold, harsh, fluorescent lights of Bee House. Of course, this wouldn't be much of a graduation speech if there wasn't some life lesson embedded into it. So let's view my journey up the staircase as our journey as the class of 2020. That makes every horrible event leading up to this moment the metaphorical darkness in the staircase. Now, we can't unpack every event of 2020 right now. I have a time limit, so I'll get to the point. The obstacles inhibiting us from reaching the third floor don't stop here. When our class enters the next phases of our lives, we will be facing a society still struggling in a national pandemic. The ongoing fight inequality for all, 
our first election and climate change, just to name a few. The future is very, very daunting. However, as long as the journey may seem, there is a light at the end of the darkened staircase. But what exactly do those lights mean for us? Equality? Peace? Justice? The answer is yes. The light represents all of those things and everything else that holds the common thread of goodness, hope, and improvement. I know everyone is tired of hearing cliches this morning, but allow me to add just one more. We are Generation Z. We are the new caretakers, researchers, educators, and thinkers of this day and age. Z is the last letter of the alphabet, but we can be the beginning of a new era of change and betterment. Change won't be easy, it never was, and it never will be. I am convinced that we are ready for the challenge. We have already faced so many challenges and obstacles in our last four months of high school alone. And time after time, we have consistently shown resilience, determination, persistence, and grit. We've already proved to everyone in PUD that we are ready to take on life's challenges and change our community. Now it's time to get out there, take on bigger, better, and more difficult challenges, and change the world. As Barack Obama once said, change will not come if we wait for some other person or if we wait for some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Thank you, class of 2020. Congratulations, and good luck with everything. Bulls up. Thank you for those incredible speeches. Karen, I'm just going to announce how it's going to go. It's fine, it's fine. So we will now begin the conferring of diplomas. So I want to remind the audience to please remain in their seats during this time, and please hold your clapping until all students receive their diplomas. We will begin with section one, row A, the students will rise and step to their left, and then they'll come down to the front of the field and then along the stage. They'll proceed across the stage, and then they'll go back down to the middle of the 50-yard line. When we get to the end of section one, Mr. Kroll will, will announce all of the students in section one, and then we'll switch over to Mrs. Fidalgo, who will, will start from the opposite side, and the kids will come across the stage the opposite way. So please bear with us. This is our first time under this new configuration, but I think that it will go very smoothly. At the end of the graduation, we've given each, each of the students a white cap so that you can symbolically throw it up in the air and celebrate at the end. You can leave those caps there. We'll clean it up for you. So at this time, I'd like to welcome Mr. Kroll to the stage, and we can begin conferring our diplomas. Thank you. Tiana Abreu. <laughs> Megan Aguilar.
Evelina Ajazi. Umar Akbar. Constantinos Anastasis. Jason Anastastopoulos. Magdalena Anderley. Justin Andre Bradley. Jonathan Anton. Gianna Anzalone. John Anzalone. Jordan Anzoni. Lilia Avila. Adam Aylward. Jessica Basilar. Eloisa Baguez. Victoria Balki. Skyla Borushian. Danielle Barrasso. Evan Bazarian. Sean Bell. Caitlin Betancourt. Jason Betancourt. Robert Betancourt. Alexa Bianco. Caitlin Blake. Aaron Bouchard. Stephen Bowers. Where you go, Stephen? Megan Braley. Brianna Brown. Robert Buono Payne. Cassidy Butt. Isaac Calderon. Sabrine Kambui.
Ricky Camillo Salazar. Gerardo Caminero. Brandon Kniff. Jake Kaplan. Emily Carney. Michael Carr. Steven Carter. Angelica Castillo. Caroline Castro. Jomar Castro. Michelle Castro Leon. Alona Sika. Felicity Salado. Eduardo Cesar. Ryan Charfi. Noah Christopher. Juliana Simino. Kathleen Cola Giovanni. Stephen Camo. Anthony Conforti. Nayeli Contreras. Ashley Correggio. Shayna Correggio. Alexis Cortez. Antonio Crevero. Colleen Crotty. Megan Songer. Devin Cunha. Dominic Cunha. Liliana Cunha. Matthew Davidson. Sulemi De La Cruz. Magdalena Deli.
Riley Dempsey. Caleb Denham. Brandon De Oliveira. Sophia De Simone. Victoria E. Diaz. Victoria S. Diaz. Jessica DeCollegero. Christopher Duranian. Megan Doherty. Ashley Dorgan. Dylan DeRossi. Guillermo Dos Santos. Shelby Doucette. Nevea Downs. Gino Dragotis. Ashley Drinkwater. Olivia Drinkwater. Guteri Dutra. Justin Zelnick. Catherine Encarnacion. Ariani Espinal Castillo. Devin Espinola. Cassandra Espinola. You're not Justin Ewing, are you? Okay. Justin Ewing. Danny Farhat. Jacob Farhat. Marielle Farrar. Christopher Fazzolo. Allison Felizardo. David Ferguson. James Ferrara.
Maxwell Fielkowski. Liam Finnegan. Nicholas Fiore. Abby Fitzgerald. Jack Flaherty. Nicole Fortado. Alexander Friedman. Wilkin Frias. Cesar Galvez Gonzalez. Amira Garba. Kristani Gatsios. Riley Gahan. Patrick Geisler. Deanna Jamelis. Jeremy Gilbert. <laughs> Megan Geraldis. Ariana Gerard. Nicola Ginny. Enco Georgia. Brianna Gomes. Gabriela Gomez. Maria Gonzalez Sanchez. Brianna Gordon. Joanna Goulis. Olivia Grabowski. John Guiney. James Geary. Jocelyn Hannon. Ashley Hernandez. Michael Hernandez. Austin Higginbotham. Kari Hobbs. Emily Hockman. Jake Howard. Tristan Hubis. Jordan Alori.
Calvin and Jemmy. Alexander Jean. Tyler Joyce. Fatima Kaba. Joel Kashila. Benjamin Kemp. Seleni Kipe. Olivia Kirikopoulos. Ryan Knox. Joshua Kofi. <laughs> Jillian Kraus. Brianna Keys. Jordan Labby. Alexandra Ladd. Good to go. Jonathan Ladd. Congratulations. John Lander. Diana Lee. Julianne LeBlanc. Jade Ledbury. Eric LaMare. Anthony Lamoli, Georgia Leone, Amanda Lewis, Lais Lima. Haley Lindstrom. Casey Lano Frias. Okay. 
Madeline Lamazny. Joe Angel Lugo. Congrats. Emily McDonald. William Machado. Philip Makochi. Amanda Marmiani. Maya Martinez. Moises Martinez. Jade Martinez. Jonathan Martins. Cody Mason. Julia McGrath. Kyle Medeiros. Olivia Medeiros. Shauri Medrano Paulino. Yalinas Medrano. Oscar Mejia. Kelly Meline. Casey Mello. Madison Melvin. Cameron Mealy. Brendan Mills. Anthony Minicello. Chrisley Maraca. John Edward Moyce. Kayla Morice. Kyle Morphus. Nicholas Morganti. Jack Murphy. Sydney Nagel. Tyler Nagel.
Madison Narich. Joshua Newman. Elizabeth Newton. Sally Nugen Hong. Angelina Niccolo. Olivia O'Connor. Shay Oliva. Maxwell Junior Oliveira. Choke Onwogu. Dominic Panarisi. Brian Panzini. Nikki Papadopoulos. Alexis Papamichael. Jacob Parisi. Nicholas Patarelli. Yes, Angel Paulino. Julia Pelizarro. Dylan Peluso. Guillerme Pereira. Anthony Perez. Jodasha Flipo. Bianca Pinto. Patrick Perez Pereira. Christian Plumbidas. Gabrielle Poirier. Tyler Prue. Matthew Raymond. Nicholas Ritchie. Caitlin Rice. Cameron Rich. Jenna Regal.
Dominic Rinaldi. Alanis Rivera Rodriguez. Aracelis Rivera. Noah Roan. Dean Roberts. Elizabeth Rodriguez. Michaela Rooney. Daniel Rosa. Aristides Rosopoulos. Sarah Rubenichik. Declan Russell. Daniel Ryan. Philip Ryan. Abigail Ryder. Leah Salem. Daniel Sanchez. Milady Santana. Joyce Santillian. Brian Santos. Edward Santos. Calvin Scribner. Austin Sack. Cole Center. Alexander Serino. Aaron Silva. Caden Silva. Camilla Silva. <laughs> Natalia Silvera. <laughs> 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 
Megan Smith. Trevor Smith. Amanda Stanton. Colin Sullivan. Barbara Sweeney. Sasha Siska. Brian Texera. Angel Tejada. Dana Tennant. Colby Berrien. Brandon Thompson O'Shea. Zoe Tinsley Carrion. Jared Titus. Brandon Thomas Paul. Vrushti Trevetti. Rebecca Trong. <laughs> Samantha Trong. <laughs> Anna Setlin. Alexandra Turco. Nathaniel Turner. Rachel Turner. Anthony Vaca. Jaden Wallace. Dylan Walsh. Justin Walsh. Kiara Lise Ware. Woo! 
Colin Welch. Julia White. Stephen Whitehead. Thank you. Gabriella Wojcik. Angeliki Jelly. Brazilda Jelly. Michael Zaro. Hunter Mahoney. Antonia Collins. Alan Torres. All right, graduates, while we're waiting for the last of you to return to your seats, we're going to be doing a quick exercise that graduation classes do all over the United States, probably all over the world. Um, put your tassels on the right-hand side of your cap. Your tassels go on the right-hand side of your cap. Looks like everybody's back. I'd like to ask the class of 2020 to now stand. The class of 2020, please stand. We're not going to throw away caps just yet. We're not going to throw away caps just yet. Please stand. All right, now move your tassel to the left. Move your tassel to the left. Mayor Betancourt, Dr. Vidala, members of the school committee, I now present you the class of 2020. They have now graduated. You may be seated. One last lesson before you leave, and I think kids, you're going to have to help your parents out with this. About a year ago, I came out in this field and I asked this cheerleading team to come up with something that we could get everybody fired up with at basketball games, football games, at events like this, assemblies and so forth. And if you haven't understood what, been, what, gen, what um, catalyzed as a result of that day was our Bulls Up Hua chant. This is the Tanner Bowl. I'd like everyone to put your hands in the air and say, hoo One more time, hoo All right, now you're getting there. So this is what we're going to do. It's still early in the morning, and I want all the towns around to hear us. I say, bulls up, you're going to say, hoo and throw that tanner bull in the air. I say, bulls up, you say, hoo Well done, class of 2020 and their parents. I want to thank you all for a wonderful graduation. We'll be dismissing you by rows, per the health department order. It's going to take a few minutes to dismiss everybody safely to maintain appropriate physical distancing. As you exit, I'd like you to thank Peabody's Finest. There's been some wonderful people out here helping us manage this event. 
the ROTC, Community Police, our teachers up in the stands here. I want to thank everyone for a really, really great day. Hope we've left some happy memories for all of you. Want to do one more time, Tanners? I say, bulls up, you say! There you go. Love that. Just love that.